Hi, does a great sports person ever go to the field to face his or her competition without a thorough preparation? That never happens. Uh, a baseball player, a cricketer, a footballer, a basketball player, a badminton player, all of them do a lot of net practice, a lot of preparation on the field. They sweat it out. Actually, they go out to perform on the field and challenge their competition. Similarly, a great public speaker never goes to the stage without preparation. So, are you willing to prepare before you go out and make or deliver that great speech? If yes, so let's talk more about preparation. So, preparation has three stages, and I call them the three Ds. The first D is discovery. The second D is design. And the third D is dry run. Every public speaker, before making a great speech, has to go through the three stages. So let's understand each one of them. The first one is discovery. So discovery is all about finding out. Find out about your audience. Find out about the subject. Find out about yourself. So what do you need to find out about the audience? We need to know before we actually um, go out there and deliver our speech. We need to know who the audience is. What is the background? Where do they come from? What age group they belong to? Are they a homogeneous audience or a diverse audience? What languages, languages they're comfortable at? All these facts are extremely important for you to find out before you actually go down, go out there and design your speech. Um, discovery also includes finding about about the subject. What is the subject matter? What is the central idea that I want to convey? What is the scope of the subject? What is the, what is the goal or objective of my speech? It's important to find out about the subject. Then discover about yourself. How much do you know about the subject? What kind of expertise, confidence, mastery you have on the subject matter? Do you need to go back and do more research before you give your commitment for this speech? Um, how much do you know about the audience? How confident, how prepared you are for this talk? So discovery is about finding out more about the audience, finding about more about the subject matter, and also finding about yourself. When you collate and put together the findings, then you are ready to get into the design phase of your preparation. So in the design phase, actually you craft your speech. And that's the phase where you go back to fundamentally um, the structure of, of your speech. And in one of the previous editions, we talked about the structure of, of, our, of our speech. And we saw that there are three parts of our structure. A powerful opening, um, an impactful closure or closing, and a very comprehensive, solid body of your speech. So it's important that in, in the design phase, you actually decide um, what is going to go into each of these three aspects of your structure. So at the beginning of your design, you decide what are you going to say as part of your opening remark or introduction? How are you going to close your speech? So once you decide on your opening and your closing, it's time to really look at the body of your speech. And when you really start preparing for the body of your speech, uh, um, go back to the central idea of your speech. What do I really try and what I'm what am I trying to convey through my speech? What is the central idea? What is objective? And that will help you decide what are going to be the building blocks of your uh, of your speech or the building blocks in the body of your speech. So I would suggest that don't have more than three or four key themes in your in your speech. Anything more than more than that will really make it difficult for you to really um, drive the message in a convincing manner. So remember, not more than three or four key themes. So once you decide what the key themes are as part of the body of your speech, then decide how are you going to transition seamlessly from one theme to another. What are the connectives that you're going to use to make this transition seamless? And then decide for each theme what story you're going to share. What example you're going to give? What information or what facts that you want to share? What statistics that you're going to share? What data points that you want you are going to share in order to convey the central 
ideas of speech. So that's the design phase of your preparation. The last phase of your preparation is dry run. The dry run is, not, is, in, is nothing but rehearsal, you know, just practicing your speech, imagining that you are delivering it in the real world. So the dry run has to be real. Imagine that you are delivering the speech right now. So use the same voice, the same tone, same body language as you're going to use in the real speech. And the more, the more, more you rehearse, the more ready you are for your final delivery. Today in the world of um, technology, um, you can use a smartphone, um, record as you are uh, rehearsing, and then go back and, and play back the recording. You know what mistakes you made in your gestures and posture in the body language, um, you know what improvements that you can make in the body of your speech, or how can you really make your opening more powerful, closing more impactful, and so on. So that's why the dry run is very important. If you don't want to record your speech, go and stand in front of the mirror and then deliver that speech. But remember, a dry run is as good as a real speech, as good as a real presentation. So friends, to get ready for that best in class, fabulous, great speech, you need to go through three stages of preparation their discovery, design, and dry run. So wish you all the best as you get ready for your next fantastic speech. Thank you.